All right, what is it, YouTube? It's your boy Money here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and don't forget to use code Money in the item shop. And with all that out of the way, let's get into today's video because it's probably the most craziest video I've made in a very, very long time. So in today's video, my crazy ex-girlfriend Becky, I'm sure you guys know exactly who that is, actually got into a fight with my girlfriend. Well, she's actually not my girlfriend right now, but basically my crush, and her name is Autumn. Once again, I'm sure you guys know who that is too if you guys don't know who that is then i'll show a picture of both of them on the screen right now but anyways guys basically what happened in this video was my crazy ex-girlfriend becky actually got into an argument with my current crush autumn and basically she challenged her to a fight to see and the winner would get me which i think is absolutely so insane like some of these messages they were sending to each other were just mind-blowing like i still can't believe some of the things they were saying to each other but i don't want to spoil this anymore without further ado i'm gonna show you guys the full conversation right now so let's just get straight straight into it. Alright guys, so it started off really weird. I got a random message from my crush named Autumn and she said, hey Hermione, I have some bad news for you. And I got really scared because if you guys haven't seen my last video, she was actually in the hospital for some other situation that she just went through and I thought the bad news was about that. So then I said to her, oh my god, Autumn, what's up? Like, how are you feeling? I'm sorry I couldn't come to the hospital to see you because you were already at home when I showed up. And that's actually true, guys. I went to the hospital to see her this morning, but when I got there, they said that she already went home. So I actually didn't understand up getting to see her today at all but anyways then she responds to me saying yeah they let me go earlier because i was feeling fine thanks for coming though but something bad happened again and i'm not gonna lie they had me so shocked because like if it's not about the hospital thing then what could it possibly be about i mean this is just insane so then i replied saying something bad you just got in a fight with five girls what could possibly have happened now like there's no way something worse happened to you and oh my god guys this is when things started to get really really crazy she told told me something that not even in a million years would I think would happen like it was that insane she replied saying well you know your ex-girlfriend Becky she actually messaged me and wants to fight me she's crazy and I kid you guys not as soon as I read that I could not even believe my eyes like in what world did that make any sense so I say to her what I told her to never involve herself in my life again but she just keeps coming back and then I said can you show me the messages and the reason I asked for the messages is because like there's no way this could possibly be happening it makes no sense why would my ex-girlfriend want to fight my current girlfriend i just could not believe it i had to see it with my own eyes to believe it but man was i wrong because she replied saying yep i'll send you the whole conversation it was absolutely insane and to be honest i might actually fight her today are these girls absolutely insane like what are they thinking and why are they even trying to fight in the first place so then i say to her oh my god what are you crazy just send me the message so i could actually see with my own eyes and like confirm this is real because like at this point in time i literally thought it was a prank or something like this is way too insane to be real but to my surprise she actually sent me the whole conversation between her and becky and let me just say even describing it as crazy is, is an understatement like this is just a whole different level of I don't even know what the word to describe this is. It's just mind blowing. So it actually started with Becky messaging Autumn. And she says, hey, is this Autumn? I got your Discord from somewhere. And I'm not sure if it's the right one. And I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of surprised. Like, how did she even get Autumn's Discord? Like, she's saying that she got it from somewhere. But, like, what does that even mean? And then Autumn replies her saying, uh, yeah, my name clearly says Autumn. Why are you even asking when it's right there with the laughing emoji? And I mean, she's not wrong because, like, it literally says Autumn G. How does it even make sense that? ask her if it's autumn when it literally says her name right there but for some reason becky got mad at that because she replies saying excuse me are you trying to show me attitude or something because it's working if you are and i mean in my opinion she's getting mad for no reason like autumn was just stating the obvious her name is right there how is that showing attitude if she's just telling her the truth i'm telling you guys becky is crazy that's why i broke up with her a while ago but anyways autumn being the nice girl she is replies saying no oh my god i was just stating the obvious i wasn't trying to be mean i'm just saying it's in front of your face and i mean i don't know about you guys but this conversation is heating up like they're both getting mad at each other and trust me guys it gets so crazy i mean just take a look at what becky says next she replies saying there you go again with the attitude do you have a problem with me or something and i mean if anything becky is the one showing attitude here not autumn she's just being straight up and autumn for some reason ends up apologizing because she replies saying no i don't i'm sorry i'm actually a really nice person you just caught me off guard if you don't mind me asking you who 
who are you question mark and i'm not gonna lie i was actually surprised that autumn doesn't know who becky is because i've told her multiple times about her and how insane she is like this is the most crazy girl i've ever met in my entire life i mean just take a look at what she says next she replies saying oh so he didn't tell you about me huh i find it really funny after all me and him went through he doesn't even have the guts to tell you with a laughing emoji and i mean i don't know what she's talking about here because i actually did tell autumn about becky but it's not in the way she thinks the only thing i told autumn about her was how crazy she is and how dumb she is like she's the most i don't even have words to describe her like some of the things she used to do to me were just not okay and i mean autumn was clearly clueless about who becky was because she didn't even know who she was talking about she replies saying who didn't tell me about you i'm sorry i have no clue who you're talking about or who you are so you have me very confused and this is when becky replies saying i'm becky your mommy's ex-girlfriend i'm sure he's probably brought me up once or twice but let me know if he didn't because then i'll deal with it she'll deal with it like what is she gonna like beat me up or something like i'm telling you guys this girl is crazy and it gets even worse from here and this is when autumn realized who this girl was she replies saying oh right becky i've heard of you he's told me some crazy stories about you i never expected you to text me randomly i'm actually surprised and i mean she's not wrong like i find it so weird that my ex-girlfriend is texting like my future girlfriend like and the craziest part is i'm not even a part of this conversation like i'm not even in this conversation so it makes it that much weirder and here's when becky just completely starts to freak out at autumn like i kid you guys not when i tell you this conversation is about to go a whole different level of insane so becky replies saying what kind of crazy stories did he tell you because that's all supposed to stay between us like what's wrong with them and uh becky if you're listening there's actually nothing wrong with me but you're absolutely crazy like there's something wrong with you i mean some of the things you've done to me like i can't even say on camera that are that crazy so i literally have no words for you i mean just take a look at some of the things that i told autumn she describes them right here she replies saying well he told me that he tried to move in his house which she did he also told me that you stole five thousand dollars worth of things from him which she did and a couple other stories but i won't judge you don't worry and that just proves how nice of a girl autumn is like after all that she says she doesn't even judge becky but i can't say that about her because she replies saying you want to know something he still loves me and i still love him so you need to back off like what becky none of that is true i don't love you at all i actually hate you with all my heart and why is she telling her to back off like that's just messed up and that is a message that actually made autumn mad and she starts to completely just go off at becky she replies saying um excuse me is that what this is about did you just message me to argue or something and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm starting to get the same feeling too like i feel like becky just messaged autumn so that they could get into an argument and autumn would stop talking to me which once again just proves how crazy she is but then becky replies to her saying i just wanted to text to ask if you were actually his girlfriend because i've heard rumors that you might be with emoji and then autumn basically just tells her the straight up truth she replies saying well i mean he hasn't officially asked me out yet but we have been talking for a long time and we both like each other and that is true we both like each other and i may or may not be planning to ask her out in the future we'll see what happens but as of right now that's just how the situation is but oh my god guys becky took that the absolute wrong way and just started to freak out she replies saying oh so you do like him that's what i thought well he doesn't like you back he would never like a girl like you after dating me and once again you're wrong becky because like i hate you but i actually do like autumn simply because she's a nice girl unlike you and then next autumn replies her saying what how would you know what he likes i'm pretty sure there's a reason he broke up with you he doesn't like girls like you and then becky responds saying for your information me and him are still in love i'm just waiting for him to ask me out again because we are gonna get married one day and i don't even know where to start with that text like there's so many things wrong with that message like we are not gonna get married ever i hate you becky i already told you never to talk to me ever again or get involved in my life in any way and we are definitely not in love like i don't know where she's making all these things up from she's literally the biggest liar i've ever seen in my entire life and autumn didn't believe that either because she replies saying i'm not too sure about that because he told me he never wants to talk to you again in his entire life which is true i actually did say that but then becky replies was one of the craziest messages i've ever seen in my entire life she says do you think that's funny or something because you're laughing quite a lot for someone who isn't even his girlfriend i mean have you even hugged him have you even kissed him no so shut up like what i don't even know how to react to that text message like this girl is absolutely insane i'm telling you guys and then autumn replies saying whoa i didn't mean to hurt your feelings and no i haven't done that because we are taking it slow so we don't end up like you and him did and i mean i don't know about you guys but it sounds like to me that she 
you just roasted Becky in the nicest way possible. And Becky did not like that because she replies saying you're not even his girlfriend. Stop acting like you are. He doesn't even love you. He loves me. And here's when things start to get super interesting. Autumn replies saying I don't even know why you type in caps. I think you need to calm down. There's plenty of fish in the sea. But I'm sorry because Armani is mine. Better luck next time. And just reading this I am so shocked like I've never seen this side of Autumn before. And this isn't even it. Like it gets even crazier. Becky responds saying okay you're actually making me so angry right now. I'm sick of you. You're not even that good looking. How about we fight one on one for him? And Autumn didn't quite understand what that meant. So she says what? What do you even mean by that? I know Armani told me you're crazy but I didn't think you were this crazy. And I've literally been saying that like when I say she's the craziest girl in the world I mean it. She's literally one of a kind. But then Becky responds saying what's so hard to understand about that? Didn't you see the KSI versus Logan Paul? We can fight just like that and I'll show you crazy. And I'm not really sure what she meant by that. Like I guess she meant that like she wants to fight like in a boxing ring or something with like gloves on which makes like no sense once again so autumn says what would be the point of that i mean he doesn't even like you and never wants to talk to you again so why would i fight you and i mean she does have a point there like if i don't like becky at all why would she need to fight her over me like that doesn't make any sense whatsoever but here's when becky says something so crazy she replies saying you're just scared of me because you know i'd beat you up and then her money would have to date me with an emoji and then autumn responds saying weird girls why would we fight and that too over a guy when no one is watching there's something wrong with your brain and then Becky says no there isn't anything wrong with my brain but there will be something wrong with yours after I'm done with you sweetie <laughs> and I mean I don't know about you guys but Becky seems so angry like I'm seeing a side of her that even I've never seen before and this is when I was completely shocked Autumn replies saying okay if you really want to I'll fight you and we will see who Armani actually likes cause I bet he's on my side and I mean she's not wrong that I am on her side but how is this even happening like why is my ex-girlfriend trying to fight my girlfriend like how do we even get there never in a million years did i think this would be possible and that too i never thought autumn would even agree to it and then becky says you really think he would be on your side after he dated me for six months and you're not even his girlfriend you idiot so then autumn replies to saying i mean i'll ask him myself but when do you want to do this and how and i mean that's exactly what i was wondering because like when is this even gonna happen considering the fact that autumn just got out of the hospital i'm not even sure she's fully recovered and like how would they even do this like i've never seen this in my entire life or heard of this but then becky responds saying let's meet up tonight at the park in front of the high school and make sure you're wearing proper clothing and tell Armani to be there and now it all makes sense like now we understand why autumn texted me saying becky wants to fight her because becky literally forced her to tell me like it's all making perfect sense now but then autumn responds saying but what if he doesn't want to come i mean he already told me he hates you so i'll ask him first and then we'll decide and for some reason becky got offended by that because she says oh is Armani your mom do you have to ask him to do everything just show up and be there in two hours and fight me it's as simple as that so then autumn replies saying no it isn't because why would i fight you over him if he already likes me in the first place like that would just be stupid and becky completely lost it she replies saying you're scared of me you I'll slap that makeup off your face. You will be the ugliest girl in the world when I'm done with you. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I feel like that's crossed the line. Like, I get it if she wants to fight over me or whatever. And she wants to 1v1 or whatever. But she doesn't have to say all those things about her. Like, that's just crossing the line. And, like, that is just not okay. But then Autumn replies saying, we'll see about that. I tested her money right now to see what he thinks. And that was basically the last picture that Autumn sent me about their conversation. I'm not sure if it went any longer or whatnot. But that's the last picture she sent me. And as of right now i can confirm that they did not fight yet and i'm not sure if they are going to or not but i feel like it's all up to me like they're both asking me if they think that this should happen or not and i have no clue like so i decided i'm gonna ask you guys my subscribers my viewers if you guys think that this fight should go down or not so please let me know down in the comments below if you guys think becky should actually fight autumn and why because i'll be responding to a bunch of comments and if you guys do decide that they should then i'll actually go and record it and every everything and even post it on the channel if i'm allowed to so once again if you guys want to see that go down let me know down in the comments below but anyways guys with all that being said if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i love you so much don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and it's been your boy armani i'm out peace